Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Hi everybody and welcome and welcome to part three of the Minty 52 build. Now we'd, we've already built the actual uh, locomotive itself and now it's just a matter of building the coal tender. Uh, so with that we'll just get on and we'll get building. We'll run through the uh, instructions first as they're in front of us. Now uh, we have brake assembly, uh, brakes again, start off with brakes. We've got brake assembly, uh, we've got four of each. We've got four axles and uh, wheel assemblies to do. Then it's a matter of uh, just two sides, wheels, brakes, and some dividers to go in. A very simple, straightforward build to start with. So I'm going to get on with that, and I shall be back with you in a second. Right, lower assembly, should I say. Uh, what can I say about it? No complaints. Everything went together as it should. Uh, no flash, no missing about. Went together nice and easy, nice and quickly. We'll move that away for the second. We'll get the page turned. There's not many steps on this, which is uh, quite good. Now, uh, step two is mainly putting the leaf springs on and the connecting arms, nothing too mad. Making this little section up here, not quite sure what it's for, but we will find out as we go. So, I'll get on with that, I'll back in a second. Right, we're back with step two. Now step two was the uh, leaf springs. This little box at the end here on both sides, that's all done. Uh, quite happy with it, no problems, no issues. So we'll move that to one side. We'll turn the page. Uh, step three. Now, this is the actual main water tank and the actual uh, housing for the coal as well. So I'm going to get on with that and I will be back shortly. Right, part, well step three should I say, and this is the water tank and the coal chute and it's a, a big piece of plastic, it really is, it's a huge great big box. It's as big as a tiger in 130 pistol, it is massive. Right, it went together very, very easily. No problems, no issues. I did have to sand uh, the actual coal at the top here, just the edges a little bit, just to make it fit in. But besides that, went together perfectly. So we'll move that on top of there and we'll get the page turned. Now, step four, uh, it's all little bits and pieces, mainly to the water tank and the uh, coal chute, should I say. Uh, we've got a ring that goes on the side here. I ain't quite sure what that's for, but we will find out. And it's generally just small bits and pieces now, uh, brackets and that to be put on to the actual tank. So I will get that done and uh, I shall be back with you in a second. Now, uh, step four has been completed. We've got the ring and the like the coal chute type thing on the door here. Uh, the coal's been put in the top. Well, I put that in last time actually. But I've put these uh, like pieces of wood around the top, I suppose, to stop the coal from falling out. Or just to get some extra coal in, I think. Uh, the little brackets on the side, they've all been done. Now, that's all completed, so we'll put that over back there for the moment. Now, this part here, you have two options uh, for the lights, either square ones or round ones. I put the round ones on because I've got round ones on the front, and that comes, these two bits come into play on the next section. So, we will turn the page. And this is the last step of this little build now. Now we've got to just put the uh, lower to the upper part of the uh, tank 
and put these uh, I think they're stowage boxes we've got on either side. Uh, the actual water pipe uh, that actually connects to the train that's got to be put on as well. Buffers, the shackles. Also, uh, we've got some ladders and other bits and pieces to go on. So, I'm going to get on and get that done, and we'll get it all finished off, and then I'll come back and we'll have a look. Okay, we're back with the coal tender. What can I say? It's all complete, it's all done. A very, very quick and easy build it was as well. Uh, any complaints? Not one. Everything went together how it should go. We do have a little bit of a gap, but a little bit of filler will do that no problem. A uh, quick tour around it. Like I say, everything went together really nice. Uh, nicely detailed. And next thing for this is to get it into paint. Now, I'm not just going to leave you hanging. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to get... Uh, both the train and well sorry the engine and the uh, tender into paint I'll get it all sprayed up and we'll have a quick look of it all painted not weathered uh, I will do that and then I'll do it on the final reveal of the actual build but I should get it all sprayed up and I should be back very very shortly as promised back with the 52 now She's had a coat of primer, she's all been primed up, everything's been primed, and we, I've also put the first coat of uh, German grey on. It won't be the last one, there will be another couple of coats I will be putting on it. But the first coat is just so I can see if there's any areas that need fettling, a little bit of sanding, cleaning up, a bit of filling, and I will get it all done on this coat, and then we'll get another coat on it, and then get its makeup on, i.e. the weathering. So that's as far as I've got, but I'm going to take this opportunity to just have a quick chat about this particular kit. Uh, what can I say about it? It was, well, I'm going to give this kit actually nine and a half points. I've knocked half a point off uh, for two reasons. The first reason being is that the boiler mounts were short by a millimeter. Now, I would suggest, now I know that, I would actually not glue in the boiler supports to start off with and leave it until I'm actually joining it up. So you could actually lift them up to actually meet because you can't actually see the bottoms of the uh, boiler supports. So you could actually lift them up that one, I think it's about one centimetre. No, one millimetre, sorry. A centimetre, of course, cool, that's a, a big bit one millimeter so uh, you could get away without having to fiddle and fart about uh, putting pieces in the second thing that uh, was the actual pipes now to be totally honest with you I'm quite pleased that the pipes were crap uh, because I'm quite happy with these pipes on here they they do look the part so uh, like I say the half a point goes for that. Other little uh, sort of like incrosingresses in the uh, destructions, well, uh, what is very clear to one person isn't very clear to another. And with the instructions, it, you can be going on forever. But I found the instructions really clear. Uh, not too much going on in each page, which made life very easy on the build the build itself i can't fold it it's a it was an absolute peach of a build i really thoroughly enjoyed it uh i was i did have my sort of apprehensions about starting it and getting it built but once i started uh, there was no problems at all well you, you saw that through the build log i'm over i really am impressed with this kit i think plumbeter has got it down uh, to not being too over engineered, not being too under engineered, it, they've got it just in the middle, uh, just about right. So, all in all, I'm very happy with it. I've put a tape measure uh, along the front uh, for people who want to know the length of it. Uh, for people who don't work in metric, 
it's 26 inches um, for people who want to work in metric that's 661 millimeters <coughs> excuse me so she is a very very big uh, beast she's actually on a track at the moment that I actually built for the 60 inch mortar which this young lady will be towing uh, what I'm actually going to do I'm going to do a mock up of all the bits and pieces that I've got to go with this train and I will do a quick video after this one after this clip should I say just so you can see in which direction I'm going with my build along with the the rail build the rail link build uh, because this is just a very small part of what I've got planned over the year so with that enjoy the next clip and uh, hopefully we'll see you on the next build okay good afternoon everybody and welcome now I'm doing some dry fitting on my little build well not little build it's a big build but I've done out two meters of track uh, and I shall very gently pan along because I'm using my phone camera should I say uh, I've got two meters of track let out uh, that's as much as I can actually do on this worktop because it's only two meters now we'll start from the front and work our way down start off with we've got a gondola with the flat 38 on we've got the BR 52 that's pushing it now uh, the tender's been added to it and it's made it slightly bigger than anticipated but there you go that's the way it goes on we've got next to it is the uh, 60 inch mortar now this is very big it is a big beast and it does take up quite a bit now in the background there I've still got the flatbed this the 80 tonner that has got to have another vehicle put on it to support vehicles I've managed to squeeze in the uh, flak 37 and also there's another uh, closed in uh, wagon to go on this as well I've still got another meter of track to go so I've still got I think I've still got room to get everything on until I really get back into my modeling room uh, it's going to be difficult but I thought I'd do just this quick uh, video just so you can see in which direction I'm going uh, and a quick look at the first build and there's a couple of more yet to come so with that I'd say thank you very much and we'll see you next time This is not a drill. Repeat, this is not a drill.